What's going on guys? It's your boy Adoptionism here hitting you up, sorry about that, uh, with video number four of our skill builds on Dragon Age Inquisition. Uh, now I know a lot of you guys saw my uh, how to make or how to get the Reaver video, I'm not going to lie, it kind of sucked. I was just overly excited that I finally built the character that I've been wanting just because of how badass she looks. I thought it was a dude, but you know, whatever. Uh, and yeah, so what this is going to be is I'm going to talk a little more in-depth about the abilities and after experiencing it and being able to promote my Reaver, what I've experienced and what I've learned uh, and what you have to do when it comes to the higher difficulties uh, using the Reaver. So yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so abilities, we're going to go right into her. And again, it's going to be very similar to how the first video was. We're going to go straight down Bloodlust. So uh, from level, you hit level 2. You want to hit up Ring of Pain, level 3, Blood Frenzy, 4, 5, 6, uh, 7. You want to get this because this definitely helps you out in like that bullshit timing. Uh, and then obviously you want to get Ravage. But yeah, going to probably end up uh, getting that too. So yeah, so with the Reaver you have to do uh, what a lot of people are calling or, I mean, I've only heard like two people call it that uh, and I thought it was actually a really good way to phrase it with the Reaver with most characters you just gotta like watch out um, make sure you have like your shields up or anything like that but with the Reaver in order to actually be a huge part of the team to be able to just put out so much fucking damage you have to learn health management as funny as that sounds you gotta watch your health bar and you gotta understand your moves and the things that you're using that use up your health now what I've also learned because my dumbass didn't pay attention for the time before was a uh, ring of pain actually when uh, uh, when you upgrade it to torrent of pain uh, it obviously it says it costs uh, less stamina and has a shorter cooldown and dragon rage costs less of your own health so that's really cool. And um, I believe there's another passive in here. I'm going to have to go re go through everything. Oh, no, it's this one right here. Now, in combination, what you have to do with the rotation after you get these. All right, well, hold on. So we got, um, yeah, we've got to go straight down, pick up Dragon Rage. Don't level it up yet. Get Rampage. And then after you level up, you want to hit Ravage. You want to get that upgrade because that's actually extremely helpful. It's really awesome. Uh, so... Yeah, and then afterwards you want to work on getting Fervor. That's a 30% damage increase for anything that dies within 10 meters. And I mean, because you're up close and personal, everything's going to be uh, close to you regardless. So that's actually really nice. Uh, you start just doing massive damage. Uh, weakened Chance, not, not like really into it. Uh, I might get it depending on how many uh, skill points we have left after this. Uh, and then this one just devastating. Uh, her, her Fury feeds each and every devastating blow i mean all it does is just slightly bump up your your damage just a little bit not too sure about exactly how much uh and then yeah i think i'm gonna go ahead and i'm gonna end up getting flow battle i can't remember if i did it in the other video or not sorry if i'm just repeating myself and but warhorn after i learned the the rotation that you gotta have because you gotta have the you gotta have rampage dragon rage ring of pain and devour so literally warhorn is completely useless don't fucking do it uh, but I'm not gonna lie, the 1,200% damage against guard would be nice, but that's you would have to completely rethink your entire build because if you want to do the just ungodly amount of damage in these huge mobs or whatever, you need Ring of Pain. Ring of Pain significantly takes up the damage of. Dragon Rage, as it says, Ring of Pain significantly increases the effect, meaning damage bonus, the health cost, damage bonus again, or yeah, it, well yeah, it says it gives you an additional 50% to that, so with Ring of uh, with uh, Ring of Pain, sorry, you get a 200% uh, weapon damage, and then on top of that, because you're using Dragon Rage and it costs your health, you're going to keep doing more and more damage with each swing. Then, but, I'm not going to lie, the good part is that if you have this, uh, you also recover health, and you're faster, so you can do more DPS, I think. I want to say speed still counts towards attack speed. Still not too sure. And then a 10% damage bonus, so that's actually really great. That pretty m almost makes you, like, if you have an enemy nearby to where you could swing at them, if you activate Rampage, you're pretty much, like, invincible. It's really, really stupid in a good way. 
Um, you automatically critical hit enemies that are afflicted with fear or sleep. And when you, uh, with Ring of Pain, I want to say it actually, or no, I guess it was just Devour. I don't know, all I know is that with the Reaver, see, it's been so long. <laughs> I'm sorry, I wasn't a little better prepared for this. But uh, you do end up having chances to fear enemies. So, um, yeah, let's go down this. Uh, we got level 1, 2, or technically level 2. Yeah, level 2, 3, 4, wait, 3, 4, 5, no, fuck. <laughs> 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So that puts us at 12. Alright, and so depending on that, we might come back to this. Not too sure. It's actually really nice. But, alright, so then then we go down to Souls. So we're already level 12, so level 13. Gonna get uh, Coup de Gras, which does 30% damage increased enemies that are stunned or knocked down. So that's actually really nice. And of course, we gotta get the. We're gonna be all up in the face, and we're gonna be already losing health, so we need as much defense as possible. So 20% uh, armor increase is really good, and uh, damage return. So thorn damage is actually really nice too. Uh, I've never actually. I don't think I've gone past this. Or no, I think I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, to get the uh, stamina regen, so that way you could use your abilities more and more. Um. Oh shit. Oh yeah, okay, and Crippling Blows is actually really nice, uh, pretty much, da 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 your critical hits leave enemies weakened, so I guess that there, there's a decent combo there to be made, but again, I don't really try and go through that stuff. Yeah, I'm not really too much into that, because, I mean, when you use Devour, it, uh, I mean, it costs 65 stamina, but when you're killing stuff like this, and you have, like, Rampage or whatever going... And you're also in a uh, ring of pain. Well, ring of pain drain. So I guess yeah, as much stamina regen as you can to keep everything. But the when you're taking out uh, smaller ads, if it's just one on one, just pop ring of pain and just use your basic attack. No big deal. Just uh, keep swinging. And air the a you want AOE weapons for this class because uh, just single targets like completely horror or vertical strikes is just absolute shit. Uh, you want AOE uh, swords like definitely for sure. So, yeah, all right, so let's go over this one more time. We got level 2, 3, 4, 5. That was, yeah, that was another big one because uh, that way you can get 10% of your stamina uh, returned. So that's 5, right? Yeah, 5, 6, uh, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah, 13. Sorry, double checking these. So that's 13, 14, 15, 16. I guess we could say 17. Yeah, all right. So after you hit 16, that's when you could kind of get a little free with it if you want. Uh, probably. Uh, yeah, I'm pro actually, that would be really good right there. Critical hits crack enemy shield for for a short time. Hmm. Actually, when you hit 16, that was 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. Okay. So I'm not gonna lie. Um, when you're trying to kill things, oh uh, no, I guess that doesn't matter. But yeah. So concentrate, bloodlust, go straight down. Make sure you get Dragon Rage and Rampage, and then start building off your uh, damage passives. And don't forget, guys, like for the for the actual like huge mob rotation when you're doing door traps, uh, what you want to do is, <coughs> excuse me, you want to pop Ring of Pain, and then as soon as you pop Ring of Pain, you want to activate Rampage, because Ring of Pain doesn't really cost shit to cast. So yeah, you just pop, uh, yeah, Ring of Pain. Uh, rampage and then you just start swinging with dragon rage and you will just you'll keep regening health at the same time while it keeps going down so each swing actually does more damage but then you go right back up so but I mean like because it goes um, 
like you swing left, you swing right, and then like the next one you take both your hands and you completely swing the entire area in front of you and do like an uppercut. So it actually does a really wide array of attacks. But yeah, guys, uh, sorry if it sounds like uh, I'm rambling on. Uh, the other video probably helped me uh, describe the bloodlust tree a little better, but for the most part, that's probably this is this video right here is probably describing what I'm gonna redo this build as. So yeah, guys, it's been your boy Adopt. I really hope this helps you guys out. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at Adoptionism. Link is down in the description below. And as always, don't forget to check out my buddy Day's stream. All of his links are down in the description as well. And of course, with it being holiday times, go check out 7controllers.com, uh, new sponsor. Uh, gonna have a bigger video going on afterwards. Go to their website. You uh, when you check out, make sure to use the discount code Adopt. That's A D O P T for five percent off your entire purchase. And uh, I mean that support would uh, be really great and really fantastic. And of course, you want to get more bang for your buck for the holiday season. So yeah, guys, really hope this uh, helps you guys out and you enjoyed it. Until next time, this has been your boy Adopt. Peace out.